That 90s show. I'm so excited. So the follow-up to That 70s show, which we have watched religiously for years. Yep. Every night before we go to bed, we put on either Big Bang Theory, Parks and Rec, How I Met Your Mother, or That 70s Show. So we know these shows like the back of our hand. Mm -hmm. How I Met Your Father, she kind of liked it. I just hadn't gone back to it after season one. Just didn't really interest me. Mm -hmm. Young Sheldon. That was a good show. She really liked it. It was all right. I watched it. I enjoyed it. They had references to the Big Bang Theory, which really made me happy. They never did anything with Parks and Rec, which is upsetting because there were so many great characters on that show they literally could have done. I just don't know what they would have done. Oh, you could have followed the, the life of Ron Swanson. You could have fallen Andy and April to Washington. You could have, you could have done a spinoff for Parks and Rec. There were a lot of choices you could have made right there. I mean, you could have followed the Parks Department with the crazy gay dude that put out the crappy movie and bitched because people didn't watch it. What was his name? Oh my God, was it like Kevin or something? It's Craig. Craig, that's it. Yeah, Craig. Craig. I want to come. I love wine and everything about it. The soil, the vines. I studied botany for three years at Purdue University. Go Boilermakers! But he was funny on the show. I loved him. He was just, uh, he did his own movie and kind of lost his mind because people didn't go see it because most people aren't interested in watching a bunch of guys have sex. Sorry, everybody's got their niche and I'm sure that there's people out there that enjoyed the hell out of that. Just he probably wasn't... turned into a Craig. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of them though, so yeah, you got to be careful how woke you get. You got to ease into this type of stuff. We've had over the last several years, they're pushing that woke stuff so hard, so fast. You got to ease into that stuff. You can't yeah. just put it in our face and make us go, oh, it's your fault nobody saw it. But you could have followed wow. Craig through the Parks Department. You know, that would have been interesting. There's a lot of places they could have gone, but I would have liked to have seen Ron Swanson spinoff just because... Ron Swanson. That was my favorite character. I mean, yeah. If there were two people in any TV shows that we watch, I would say I am a combination of Ron Swanson... True. ...and the man we are about to watch tonight, Red Foreman. This is accurate. Dumbass. Yep. I have our four-year-old daughter saying dumbass. Yeah. So. Yeah. When I heard about that 90s show, I mean, I was happy to hear they kept Red and Kitty because I love Red and Kitty. I just, I, Young Sheldon's good. It's just not Big Bang Theory. How I Met Your Father's fine. It's just not How I Met Your Mother. So I'm hoping that 90s show can kind of bring back some of the nostalgia from the 90s because I was around during the 90s. This was my time during the 90s so I hope there's enough nostalgia there for me to really enjoy it so we're going to check out the trailer so that 90s show let's do this I have to make a shopping list the kids are going to want snacks don't feed them kitty that's how it started the first time <laughs> I'm going to get Fritos, Tostitos Doritos, all the Eatos I am back baby <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Hey, Grandpa. Leia. Tell Leia. me about Chicago. What are you into? <laughs> I'm a pretty big deal in the Bay Club. That's not up for debate. Yeah, I'm not popular. <laughs> hey, new girl. Leia, you should buy the tab. Pause. This isn't gonna work. I'm pretty sure Osh Gosh Bigosh here is gonna get carded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Nick. Shouldn't star. Make a wish. That's a firework, babe. Wish I could stay for the summer. Can stay. Okay, kids, the basement is all yours. Your grandma just hooked us up. What is it? Leia, do you want to hear about the Donkey Kong conspiracy? <gasps> He's a gorilla. Interesting. It's kind of like how Cheryl Crow isn't actually a crow. Totally. If you're worried about fitting in with everyone else, you found the people who don't fit in. I still can't believe Jay didn't kiss you. <laughs> oh my god! My guy's got a bunch of salons. You may have seen his commercials. 
Welcome back to Chess Fest. Oh, hell. It's always an honor to have your hair in my chair. <laughs> Why did you open our house to chaos again? All the dumbasses were gone. <laughs> <laughs> The house full again. Yay! Yes! Eric's having a hard time with Leia. But all I know is that I'm going to love her and stand behind her no matter what. That is a great idea. Dumbass. Because when you stand behind your kids, it's easier to put, to your, put your foot, foot in, in their ass. Yeah, we got it, Dan. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Wisconsin! Yay! I can cry again. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh. Come on, that looks like it's gonna be good. You cannot deny that. And all the originals are coming back. Fedge is a hairstylist like we all predicted. <laughs> well, I mean, the best part of the preview to me was seeing Fez and and seeing, you know, Eric and Donna back. But Leia doesn't... I don't know, the kids... Did you see Ashton? Was Ashton back? I couldn't... I, I saw Mila. Yeah, I'm sure they... They're all gonna guest star, I'm sure. I'm so I just don't feel compelled by the cast itself, except for Kitty and Red, of course, because they're awesome. I don't know. I don't know about the kids. I, it seems like they tried to replicate the same cast. You know, you had your your Kelso character. <laughs> well, they kind of have to because they, that's kind of what the audience expects. Yeah, but you don't have to. I mean, you, you could... You could deviate a little bit. I mean, you had to have the foreign kid. I mean, it was like everything, they just kind of replicated the original cast, but what made that 70s show so great was the cast they created initially. I mean, look at every single one of those, except for Danny Masterson, who got Me too Yeah, hardcore. But Hyde was one of my favorite characters on the show. Yeah. Hyde was the shit. And they had to bring back Tommy, so that's awesome. I love Chong. Grew up on Cheech and Chong, so I was always a Chong fan. Oh, I thought that was Cheech. Oops. I always get them confused. No, that's not Cheech. Cheech is, hey, man! You know. Oh. Tommy's, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Mexican-American! Don't have to worry. That's Cheech. I wonder if he's still at the photo hut. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sure he's still dealing pot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited. You don't have to be as excited as me, but you have to be excited. I hope that cast is good. Because they've got all, some big shoes to fill. Well, the fact that they're... I've never heard of any of these people before. So they got to be relatively new actors and actresses. Yeah. So maybe this will be their kickoff. And even if they're not brilliant right now like Mila starting out in the show and everything maybe they'll grow from this show well, that's what made that 70s show so great is really none of them were big when the show came out they were all somewhat unknown I, I, I mean <clears throat> Eric wasn't even really an actor mm -mm. when he started he kind of got same with Donna and Mila and yeah, he got talked into it Ashton, Ashton did some stuff, though, didn't he, before this? I think he said he modeled underwear. I mean, they oh, really... The only one on the show that was that was somewhat of an actor was Danny Masterson. And he, he'd done some stuff in the past, but he was like the big name in the cast. But other than that, everybody else was relative unknowns. But the minute you saw them together, you could see the chemistry. Mm -hmm. And that's what made the show so great, is just you could feel the chemistry with the characters. This almost seemed forced. Like they were trying to force the chemistry of the original cast on the new cast by getting the foreign <clears throat> kid and getting the pretty boy. And I wonder if they're going to do a live studio audience thing like they did with the 70s show or if they're going to do sets. I don't know. I uh, hope they go back to live studio audience with this because it would bring back the nostalgia of it too. Well, I mean, the cast is... Based on the time frame, they're about the age I was at that time. So I will know every reference. I knew the Oshkosh Bagosh, and I mean, I'm going to know all these references. So that's going to be cool to kind of relive my high school days because, you know, I was early 90s in high school, so that's when this is set. So it'll be cool to see the nostalgia. It's going to be great to see Red. 
I missed the dumbass comments. Yeah, me too. I was so happy when I heard that. All the dumbasses were gone. <laughs> and the most excited I got watching this trailer was seeing all the original cast, but when I watched the new cast, it just didn't excite me. So I hope hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I really want to, I want to enjoy this. Yeah, me too. Because it's set in my era, and I really love the original show, and I love the soundtrack of the original show. So yeah. I hope they continue that with, you know, the 90s music that we all grew up on. You're going to have to hear some Sugar Ray. Mm -hmm. and, you know, this is when Metallica first kind of busted loose. Uh, I want to hear that music. I want to hear the music of my high school days. And, and we'll see. And we'll see. So we'll come back to it. Get in our comments. Let us know if you want us to live cast this stuff you know this is we've had people say they want to watch us watch tv which sounds boring to me but i can promise you it'd be entertaining because i don't hold back and i will say what's on my mind he does not hold back beware so, yeah i mean we may actually go through this series and watch it and react to it so i don't know but yeah looking forward to it I, i'm curious so like I said, get in the comments. Let us know what your thoughts are on this one. And if you have any interest in watching us, watch it. Because you can hear me bitch the whole time and she'll laugh and cry. Mm -hmm. And yawn. And yawn. So, let it's us light. Know. Like, share. Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro.